welcome to A Star Insight and on this channel I'm going to be showing you or I'm going to be giving you an insight on how to grow your channel effectively on YouTube. For this particular episode this will be the first episode of the iMovie tutorials. This this series will also include things like how to make an intro, how to make an outro, how to edit your videos, how to make the videos look clean, how to cut, how to paste, how to even make a reaction video, okay? So I'll be doing that all for you with this series, but it'll be really, really extremely helpful to me if you guys can comment down below and let me know particularly what exactly it is you want to see, what tutorials you want to see in this series. Whilst you're at it, you might as well click the like button, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell to keep you posted on what's coming next. Anyways, in this particular episode, episode one, I'm going to be showing you how to make a really, really clean, professional looking call to action for your viewers to subscribe to your channel and click the notification bell. Because in terms of growing as a YouTube channel, this is very, very important. One, because the more viewers you have, the more you want to kind of make sure they come back. And in order for them to come back, they need to subscribe so they get notifications for your videos. Now these days, not all your, not all your subscribers get notifications straight away, so it is effective for them to click the notification bell. But unless you tell them to do that, they won't do it. Now what I found from doing YouTube is that when you ask, you tend to get, you know? So you ask them, you ask them to like the video, ask them to subscribe, ask them to click the notification bell. But this particular method is quite effective because you don't have to say much, it just shows it on the screen and they do it. But you're probably wondering what that looks like. Don't worry, I'll show you step by step and you'll see the end result and you can let me know what you think. So you should be able to see my screen by now. Uh, the first thing you need to do is you need to go onto Google or whatever web browser you're using and you could search, for example, iPhone, uh, you can search iPhone screen template. And look at images and then here you'll see you'll, you'll see where I'm going to but this is this is the first thing you need to do you can select something if this is what you want or you can search an Android screen or a TV screen template you can pick a, a TV if you want but I'm going to go with because I use a MacBook actually I'm gonna go for an iMac iMac screen template Okay, that's what I'm gonna go for. Let me just make this full screen. You select one of these, maybe this one. This one's a really nice one, yeah? You select one, you download the image, and then you go on to the next phase. Now, you don't need to use this particular image. You can use any image, whether it's a TV screen, laptop screen, uh, iMac screen, phone screen, whatever you want, whatever is effective for your particular channel. And then you move on to the next step. The next step, is Canva. Now Canva has been a lifesaver for me particularly in terms of making channel art, uh, in terms of making uh, thumbnails and also the icons for your your you know your YouTube your YouTube icon as well. So I can do more tutorials on how to do other stuff like that in later videos but for now we'll focus on this. So you create your design and I'm gonna pick YouTube uh, intro because it kind of gives a, a good dimensions for what we're trying to do here, okay? So when that loads up, it should show a blank screen with a few templates, etc., etc. but we're gonna ignore that for now. You could play around with that if you want, but we're gonna ignore that for now. And we're gonna go to your, let's see, you're gonna go to uploads and you're going to upload the image now I've already done that so I'm going to put that there See, so I've already downloaded this image and uploaded it but you're going to upload and then you're going to, you're going to go into your files you're going to select the picture you just downloaded and you're going to paste that picture onto this blank canvas okay there we go 
Perfect. So that's that's step two. Okay. I hope you're focusing. Make make sure this is this is very important. This is a very important part. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to go into a YouTube channel. Now I'm going to use my my main YouTube channel. You're going to take a screenshot. Yeah. You're going to screenshot that screen of your YouTube channel. Okay. Then you're going to go back to Canva. You're going to go back to Canva and then you're going to um, upload that screenshot and drag it. Okay, you're gonna drag it onto that screen. I hope I hope you're following this. <laughs> Guys, this is very, trust me, I know it's gonna sound a bit complicated, it might feel a bit long, but when you get to the end result, it'll be spectacular, okay? So you're gonna fit that in, you're gonna fit that onto the screen as such, just like that, until you're happy with it, right? Now, what I would recommend at this point, just to make things easier, is you see this here, the subscribe button. What I would say is you should get a, go to elements, right? You get a square, yeah? I hope you're following. I hope, listen, make sure you're, make, make sure you're concentrating. Do they have rectangles here? Okay, no, we're gonna use a square, okay? We're gonna make that a rectangle. We're gonna decrease the size, right? We're gonna cover the subscribe button as such. We're gonna cover it like that. And then we're going to make it white or the same background. That has to be the same background color. So it's now invisible. This is crucial, guys. This is gonna make your life so much easier, okay? And I'll explain why in a second, but this is crucial. Make sure the subscribe button cannot be seen, it's gone, okay? Now your screen looks like this. Cool. Followed? Now what you're gonna do is you're going to save this, you're gonna download it as such. Click download and it will become a file on your Mac. I hope you're using a Mac, because if you're using a PC then you haven't been concentrating. This is this is particularly for iMovie. You can only have iMovie on a Mac, okay? So please. Next step. You now have to go to iMovie, which should be somewhere, there it is. Okay, so now you're on iMovie. So this is the next step, and this is quite an important step, and I probably should have mentioned this at the beginning of the video, but you're gonna have to get this subscribe notification bell animation, okay? And I'll put a link in the description down below to a YouTube video that will tell you exactly how to get this. Okay, well, okay. well you can actually get it, you can download it from the links in the YouTube video. Okay, but once you've got that, you then need to expand it, right? Expand it, and you can take another screenshot of any corner of the screen, but just the green part of the screen. This is very important. Just the green part of the screen, okay? You screenshot that, then you come back out, you upload, or you, you upload onto iMovie, the green screen picture that you just took. You put that over there, you get the subscribe button, put that over there, okay? So now it's an overlay. And you're doing this so that you can make the subscribe button smaller, so it fits onto YouTube channel um, screenshot. Okay, so then you go to cut away, you click on, you click here, click on cut away, picture in picture. You make this small, right? And it would be easy if you had the screenshot side by side, right? But for the sake of video, the video and time, I'm gonna guess that it's somewhere over here, okay? That's where it is on your YouTube channel. But this doesn't matter too, too much, because remember you put a white, rectangle on the screenshot so you should be able to kind of place it fairly well so you do that and now if you do a full screen it should look like this click subscribe notification bell click the notification bell done okay cool then click here you click file and then you save yeah you save what you've just done right 
and then you open that once that's done and it's the, the video has been exported you open that and you put that back onto iMovie now I'm sorry this might sound complicated but it's very easy rewind if you have to if you have to okay but this is this is very easy maybe I'm making it sound complicated hopefully you're, you're following okay but you should have done that and that should look like this so we're gonna get rid of this now and now you have this okay that's what you have because it's stuck together now so the next thing you need to do is you get that screenshot that I told that I told you to make from Canva okay here it is yeah you have to click on that click on crop click fit okay because you don't want that zooming in feature well if you want the zooming in feature you can have it I personally don't want the zooming in feature see so now it doesn't zoom in okay then I put the green screen on top of it like that right and I click on the green screen part where it says subscribe notification bell and I click on this again click on cutaway but this time I click green slash blue screen click there now it should be aligned okay so now it looks like this good doesn't it it looks I know I know you don't need to tell me I know it looks good okay so the next thing is to kind of neaten it up a bit so if you want it to be an intro it could be longer you know you could add stuff to before and after etc but this is just not going to be an intro for me this is just going to be a call to action for my viewers to subscribe and hit the notification bell so what I'm going to do I'm going to trim it a bit because I want it to fit better so that they literally just as soon as they go onto it it says the subscribe button is there straight away see so now it's there straight away okay then it kind of disappears but that's okay and now we're going to add music to it so you can get music from the music the youtube library audio library if you want that video again let me know i'll show you an intro how to get music from the youtube audio library it's very important because it's copyright free Okay, you can change the volume. Let's go for, I'll go for about, yeah, go for near 50%. Then you trim the end of it, or just be difficult and make me drag it. Okay, shorten the music to fit, to scale. Now, there's sound as well. So, I'm gonna put my headphone in so I can hear it, make sure it sounds good. Full screen. done okay now, I know that's short but trust me that's very very effective just imagine if you're a viewer coming to a channel for the first time and you see that straight away yeah whether that's the, at the beginning of the video or at the end halfway through the video it doesn't matter where you want to put it it's just an effective call to action and if the person does like the video then hopefully they will subscribe to your channel hopefully they will click the notification bell whilst on the topic if you have enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more then please subscribe and hit the notification bell like that video showed you to do and we're going to leave it there um, again make sure you comment down below and let me know what else you'd like to see any other tutorials you'd like to see and again I will link in the description down below where to get that notification and subscribe uh, green screen button from okay don't worry I'll put that in the description below anyways thank you for watching until next time